This astonishing cave is near the small town of Waitomo in New Zealand. Each light comes from the back end of a lava as it lies in a transparent tube of mucus slung from the ceiling by silken threads. And it's produced by phosphorescent chemicals in a special compartment opening from the side of its intestine. The silk comes from glands at the other end, inside the lava's mouth. The larvae move around. They fix a silk thread to the rock and slowly inch their way over the ceiling along a network of threads. Arriving in a new position, the larva produces more silk, but this time it allows the thread to dangle downwards. As each section emerges from its mouth, the larva, with a gulp, adds a blob of glue. Eventually, a single strand may be a metre long. There can be several hundred larvae in a single square metre of cave roof, and they all work hard, producing strand after strand. The more they make, the greater their chances of catching something. Below, mayfly are hatching from the stream that runs through the cave. They've been carried in here by the current from outside, as larvae. Now they must look for a mate. But they find the blue lights above irresistible. And they're caught. The fungus gnat detects its victim's struggles from lines that run between the threads. Having made a capture, it turns off its light. That saves energy. Laboriously, it makes its way across to the thread from which the vibrations are coming. It holds it up and eats what's hanging on the end. It also eats the filament. That saves silk. This wonderful hunting technique is just one of an enormous number of varied ways in which animals use silk. Silk really is an extraordinary material. It's stronger than a steel thread of the same diameter, and unlike steel, it's elastic. It can stretch up to twice its length 